So the last major feature that I want to cover here is I want you to be able to click on a card and then open up the modal to edit it. Um, and I will leave it up to you to fill out this entire section, but we're going to build a little form just so you can edit the card's name and then we will sync that back to the global store. Um, but we want to be able to basically toggle and close uh, that modal. And so that's what we're going to build today. Now, the first place to get started, of course, is we want to go through and create a card um, for each one of these. So we're gonna create a new subcomponent called card. I don't really care about this index right now. Um, you might want it later on, um, but we're going to do that later. And actually that index could be useful to reference which card it is inside of the global store and may make the accessing a little bit faster. Um, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna do a search for it instead. Uh, this should be card card and all we have to do is, let's see, we need this class. Uh, we're gonna pull that out into the div for our cards. So we'll go in and create a components card view. So this is going to have a template of card, card body. We're gonna have the card.name printed out inside of it. We're gonna close the template. We're gonna have our script tag, which exports default. Um, and this is going to have props. It's going to take that card that we just passed in. Um, we're going to have a data uh, function for this. So this is going to give us an object back. And really, we are caring about the editing state of this. So we want it to be a Boolean, true or false. It should be false by default, of course. Um, but we want to be able to toggle this on and off to display the modal or not. And so that'll be as simple as that is and we can close off our script tag. We can have our uh, style scoped down here in case we need it in the future. We shouldn't really need it for this, um, but we might. So if we go back to our application, anytime that you see like one of these widgets, like all our cards have disappeared, take a look at the uh, the JavaScript logs. It will tell you pretty much exactly what is wrong. And for us, we have not defined in our list.view file what the card template is.